Hi, I'm Christine Kovic, and I teach anthropology here at the University of Houston, Clear Lake. I'm here today, and some of my students are here, and some more are coming, and what we're doing is we're setting up um, a representation of an altar for Day of the Dead. Um, my class is on Mexico and Central America, and Day of the Dead is celebrated in Mexico, and in other parts of Latin America as well. It's also celebrated by immigrants in the United States. And it's a time to welcome the dead. That would be perhaps the best way of thinking about it, a time to welcome those um, who have passed away. And this happens in a number of different ways. Um, some families go to the cemetery. It's a time to clean the cemetery, to remember loved ones. Um, people might bring flowers. They might even bring food in some areas, food and drink to the cemetery. So what you do when you're remembering a loved one, you prepare some of their favorite foods, um, you're going to put their favorite drink. These skeletons for Day of the Dead represent people that have passed um, and things about the people. Uh, this one was a mariachi singer. Um, she was most likely a dancer of some sort. And way back in pre-Columbian times, they were actual skeletons but now we just use these playful ones. So the significance to us about these candles are that um, on Dia de los Muertos, we will light up a candle and leave it at home just in case our loved ones got to us, went to our house, they, they would get their, they could find their way back by the light. Oh, that's 